murders are not like murder goose horns that are based on facts and real people. Fairy tales are fantasy. They are fun to read. I read them myself every night, but nobody really believes them. I believe them. <laughs> oh, Herman. <laughs> He's so funny. Big joke. Oosh. Anyway, fairy tales are full of imaginary characters who are loaded with magical powers. Like Cinderella's fairy godmother. Now she could change her pumpkin into a goat. Or mice into horses and anything else into anything else. I believe this. <coughs> then there's Pinocchio's good fairy. With a wave of a stick, she changed him from a wooden puppet into a genuine real live boy. bad fairies, like the one in Sleeping Beauty, who turned herself into a fire-breathing dragon. I believe that. Then you're always sure to find a wicked queen like the one in Snow White. She drank some of her own black magic and turned herself into uh, an awful mess. That hard to swallow. But I believe it anyway. Herman, I could smash you. I believe it. Ooh, ish. In fairy tales, you will find all kinds of giants. There are small giants and the big economy-sized giants, like the one in Jack and the Beanstalk. That's a real big giant. It's really an old fairy tale, Jack and the Beanstalk, you know. African Zulus used to tell it, the American Indians told it, and everybody practically who told this tale gave it different characters. But no matter who told it, it was always the same story, and they all used the same magic beans. And this beans is the same ones I am going to imagine in the story I am going to dream of. Once upon a long time ago, there was a place called Happy Valley. And it was called Happy Valley because everyone there was Valley Happy. <laughs> This place was really beautiful. It was one of nature's garden spots, nestled among green, growing hills. With a babbling brook, bubbling and bubbling as it flowed through the valley. The winding roads all lined up with high trees, lush fields, and prosperous farms all over the place. And way up high on the hill overlooking the valley, there stood a big red barn. No, what am I saying? I mean, there was a big castle, and inside... Oh, boy, king! Listen. What a sunny sky kind of makes you sigh in a happy way. But a very merry day on a wooden day. When your cares are light and your heart takes flight and you're swept away. The air is sweet with clover, the clouds are turning over. Oh, yes, they're turning over just to show their silver lining more. What a happy day. Never knew such bliss, never read of this in a book or play. What a lovely day. What a great big gorgeous, sumptuous, sumptuous, bumptious, humgalumptious, simply scrumptious. My, what a happy day. prosperity over the whole valley. But it was too good to last. Because one day, a mysterious shadow creeped.